Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I'm just pulling out some things that we got in our March kit. See if I can find some things. I didn't get everything because we actually mailed everything out, but I got quite a few things. So you got some trim, you got some sorry silk. This is some silk, and then you got some burlap and lace, and I, that's just a scrap piece that I had. And then you've got a little pack of goodies here. This is some of the washi stickers like I use all the time. And then some ephemera, different things in there. A little vellum pocket there, or vellum uh, envelope. Then this came, we went ahead and printed these for you. This came in your kit. You can trim these out and use them on your pages. You got a very sturdy recycled envelope. These, we're gonna do something with that. And then this is what I sh sent to you last night and showed you that we you had some more free digitals that you can print out. And this is for our E-Club Kit members. Uh, so it's that page, this, and then that I printed on the back side. So you can print yours separate if you want to. But this little tag fits in that pocket. now. I didn't put anything on the pocket because I figured you might want to use this as a template. So I thought you might want to use this as a template as I'm going to do. So I didn't put anything on there. But we're going to trim this out and then I am going to use it as a template to cut out an envelope and a tag. And we're going to make something I think you'll enjoy. So let me lay this aside. So if you're not in the e-club, you can go ahead and click on that link below if you want to read more about it. Now I'm not going to make you sit and watch me cut this out because I'm going to have to trim very carefully. But I just trim around it and then I use this as my little template. You could always just print this directly on your sheet of paper. But I like to save it and use it over and over for a little template. And then I can put it down on any paper that I have and use it that way. Okay, I have gone ahead and cut both of those out. Now this is the paper pad that we got, Simply Vintage Cottage Fields. This is gorgeous. I uh, can't even decide which sheet I want to use. Love all of them. But I think I'm going to use this one. This is the first one I was drawn to a little bit. So I think I might use that one. Let's see how I can get. Hmm. Well, I may not use that one because I wanted this on the front. And I can't really get that on the front. So, well, I can get part of it on there. We'll just go like that right there. So let me trace this out. Oops. Now, if you want to use this as a template, it's better to use a heavy cardstock to make your little template out of. This is just regular copy paper, and it's a little bit too thin to trace around, but you can just transfer this over to some thicker cardstock or piece of chipboard, something like that. A lot of times, I just put mine on chipboard and cut around them and then I use it that way. That way it's a lot easier to trace around. Okay, that's some bodgy trimming around, but we're gonna use it. So we'll go ahead and cut this out. All right, we got that cut out and now I'm going to cut my tag out and it looks like well, I could cut it that way. My flowers would be sideways. Let's see what else we might have that we want to cut our tag out of. That would be pretty. Okay, I think we might just cut our tag out of these butterflies.
And again, I'm just going to trace around it real lightly. All right, here is our pocket, it's our tag. And I'm going to lay this on here and do a little bit of scoring, hopefully. Where is my template? Now, you, if you don't want to guess, you can lay your template back on here and just line these little dots up and then score it that way. Or you can just freehand score it and do it that way if you want to. I am just going to do mine like this. And like this. And then the bottom. I'll lay that right there. Now, if my lines are too light to see, which they're not, I could lay it back down and do that again. But they're fine. They work fine. All right, so there is our little pocket. You just fold those around. I'm gonna go ahead and burnish them. Just like that. And let's hope that I got this tag the right size. Oh, and it looks like I did. Good job. All right, I need to cut that out right there. I don't know if this, I don't know if this one will do it or not, but let's see. Yes, it will. And I'm just gonna erase that pencil mark right there. So there is our little tag. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little ink, <laughs> ink. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little glue right here on the back and just glue that little bottom portion down right there on both sides. And then it'll be ready to insert in my journal or in the little thing that we're gonna do. We're going to do a little something. I'm going to go ahead and put my ink on there. And then I'm going to ink the tag. And I'm, hmm, ooh, that's pretty too. Oh man, both sides of that is pretty. I don't know which one I'll use now. This paper has some beautiful uh, designs in it. The good thing about it is you get two sheets of each one, so that's the good part. I'm going to ink both of them, so it's just going to depend which one I like the most when I start putting it together, which one I use. So, mm, I think I'm liking this side better. I like those flowers showing there. So we're going to lay that down. Then I have... And these are some Tim Holtz pieces that we put in your kit. And you may have different ones from me. I just got the scraps. Whatever was left is what I got. I think I might. No, that didn't show up well enough. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm not going to use one of those right now. I may use it in a little bit. may use something else on there in a minute. But right now, I'm just going to lay those aside, and we will come back to the t cover on this in a minute. Hmm, that's interesting. I might actually glue, glue that little guy down. I think I like that. I like that. Okay, that is that. I'm going to lay that aside. I'm going to save my templates. Now, what we're going to do is take this envelope. This is the envelope that you got in your kit. I'm going to go ahead and ink mine. You do not have to do that, but this is something that I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and ink it up on all sides. 
All right, we've got that inked up, and then we're going to glue this down. So glue your little flap down. Like that. Okay, and then we're going to fold it. So you're going to fold it in half. Now this is a very stiff envelope because it is from that tough craft paper. So just give it a, <clears throat> excuse me, just give it a good burnish. There we go. All right, then I'm gonna put my ink here. Okay, now let's decide what paper we want to use on the front of this. Okay, let's see what paper we want to use. That's pretty. Hmm. Let's see if I used that one, how I would cut it. Well, it would take my words off if I cut it that way. I cut it that way it's going to take some of my flowers off so let's see what else we have I love that sheet but I want to see what else I might have ooh that's pretty isn't it that is very pretty let's see what that one looks like hold it up there oh I like that oh all right, I'm going to look a little further, and if that's if I don't see anything else, that's what we're going to use. I like them all. That's the problem. They're all very pretty. Okay. All right, I think we're going to use that one. Now, I'm going to mark this, but I'm going to tear it with my ruler because I want that torn edge. So when I mark it to tear with my ruler, I always tear it a little bit larger, or I always mark it a little bit larger, because it helps me in case I tear a little crooked. Now this is a pretty thick paper, so just tear slowly. That. That will be a cute belly band, won't it? All right. Then, let me look at that again. You know me. Lost my place. All right, we're going to tear a little bit off the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and tear this way, just so I don't tear my little notch off there. Okay. And then, a little bit on this side. we go. Now let's see what that looks like. Well, I actually tore it a little bit big. Can you believe that? Usually I tear it a little bit short. So we're going to tear a little bit more off. And a little bit more this way. I do want some of my brown showing, so... Yes, that's perfect right there. So that's what we're going to cover the front with. I'm going to put my ink on here. 
I haven't made one of these in a long time. And you say, well, what is these? You will see in just a minute. They can be used for so many different things. If you're a card maker, you can use them as cards. If you're a journaler, you can use it in your journal. Lots and lots of different ways that you can use it. You can give it as, you know, put a gift card or something in there and give it that way. It's just lots of different ways to use this. And I haven't made any in a while. And, you know, graduation and all of that's coming up. So it's about time to do some different things. And I'll probably make more of these and use them in my journal too. So, okay. So we've got that on. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to take my bun folder and give this a really good press because that helps that lay flat. And I'll probably come back and do something more to the front, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to go ahead and cover the inside. Now, I'm thinking about putting this on the inside on one of these like that maybe. This is the little cutout that was in that freebie that I gave you last night but I need a little bit of paper behind it of some kind and I may not even use this I may use something oh wait a minute that would work I think well, I think that might work let's see uh, we don't want to go with pink we don't want to go with striped Not sure about that. Okay, let's look at this one and see what it would look like. No, I don't like that one. I like this one. So I'm going to put that right behind this. So what I'll do is I'll tear this out first and then I'm going to glue this down. But we're going to cut this center out and we're going to put something behind that. So let's go ahead and mark this and then we'll give it, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll give it a tear. I've got to drink some water. I'm dry. I'm parched today. It's pretty warm here. I think it's in the 70s maybe. Low 70s. And of course that means in here it's the low 80s. <laughs> This is always hotter in here than it is anywhere. I don't know about any of you who have purchased this ruler, but I love it. Look at that edge that it puts on there. Isn't that pretty? And we've had quite a few of you who have purchased, so I'm hoping you're enjoying it like I am. beats tearing it up dragging out that trimmer every time doesn't it all right let's put that down right there and yes we did cut up a few of our little journaling cards but the good thing is we have more this package comes with quite a few more so we're good Okay, I'm going to put that down right there. And let's see. Well, I could have got it a little bit straighter, but you know what? We're going to pull it back up and put our glue back on there again and try that one more time. You can pull it up with this glue for just about three seconds. You have about three seconds. After that, it's done. Let's try. There we go. Yeah. That's better. And now, we want to put that down on there. Now, I printed this on regular paper. Just plain copy paper. If I had thought about using it like this, I would definitely have printed it on cardstock. But I didn't think about it when I was printing. So we're going to go ahead and try to make it work. 
if it doesn't, I can always go back and add or cut it again or add paper to the back. See, the, the paper is so thin, it's not even wanting to cut. So I think I'm going to do it like this and cut it with my scissors. Yeah. It's, um, it's very thin copy paper. And my knife blade is probably dull because the men around here have been using it for everything. I need to break off the end of it. All right, I think we got most of those little giblets off of there. So, now you can leave this little tan piece around the edge or you can trim it off up to the green. I'm gonna leave mine. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of ink on the inside just to disguise where I might have missed cutting something. There we go. Right now, if we put that down right there, and I'm gonna rub a little bit of that off. I think I got it a little overzealous putting my ink there. If we put that there, and I can put something underneath it. Now, what are we gonna put underneath? You got some of these in your kit, and I'm not sure which ones you might have got. Ooh, look. but that's too matchy-matchy with the outside, so let's don't do that. Let's see if we have anything on here. If we put a yellow rose underneath it, it's gonna kind of match up too, isn't it? Oh, look at her little face. She's a little bit big for that, so let's see what else we have. I may have to dig in my stash. Oh no, wait a minute, we can put can put a piece of vellum under it. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Yeah, I think that one will work. Let's see. No, I'm liking this one better. So I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to use that underneath. And I'm just going to cut it across like this and up like this. across. I'm not going to fussy cut it because I don't think there's a need. And then we're going to glue that right there. I like it that. I like it. And the good thing about gluing this vellum down to the back of that, you can see where you're gluing. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down right there. And I'm not going to leave it open or anything for a pocket. If you were going to print this out of a thicker cardstock. You could leave it open and just have a pocket down in there. But I'm not going to do that because mine is thin. Now I'm just going to go in here with, well that's glued well. I'm just going to make sure that these little edges are glued well. That's good. So there is that. Now on this side, I want to put something down, but I want to put some pockets on here. So let's decide what we want to put on this side. Um, let's see about this. I think that paper would work, and then we could put a pocket down here. And I know it's going to cut into that. I don't. I don't mind that. I don't mind the paper. The uh, wording being cut off that doesn't bother me so we're going to go ahead and cut this one off or tear it off all right there we go oh yeah that goes well together so let's go ahead and ink that one up oh and i need to need to say this right here if you are in our e-club kit and you are not getting emails from us, please email me at the email address below and let me know your correct email. Because the email that you provided when you signed up could be like a PayPal email or something like that and it won't accept 
emails from us because we try to send out emails quite often about the e-club kits and maybe uh, new digitals and things like that but I know some people are saying they're not getting them so please please let us know if you're not getting those because we want to make sure that you get all of your freebies that go along with the e-club kit because there's lots of things that go along with it not just your package here let's see I think I might just use this on the back that's a little busy and you don't even have to cover the back if you don't want to I'm just kind of looking to see if I want to do that yeah I think I'm gonna use this so look below and find my email address and just shoot me an email and tell me who you are and say this is the email address that I need to change to get all of my eClub kit emails because I know I've had quite a few lately that have said well I didn't get that email so, and all we can do is just use the email that you gave us. So, please let me know if there's a different one that you need to use. Isn't this a pretty paper pad? I love it. I want the the large one of this, but they haven't come out with the 12 by 12 yet, I don't think. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and ink this up. And we'll glue that down, and then we will go further on that. Okay, so there is all of those covered. Now what we're going to do is cut the top of this. Just trim it just a tiny bit to open that up. Ooh, let's see if it'll trim in here. Maybe. All right. And you could have done this before you covered. I'm just going to do it now. I think it'll be fine. There we go. Just a tiny little sliver is all we took off. Just enough to open that up. Alright, so we have this like this. Now, if you're going to use this as a card, you can just put your pockets down and stop right here. And you don't have to go any further. But if you're going to use this in a journal, like we're probably going to do. We're going to show you how we're going to do that. Let me find a paper that kind of goes with that. Scrap piece. I'm going to try to use my scraps. There we go. That one will work. So I'll go ahead and put the pocket in, then I'll show you if, if you're just going to use this for a card to maybe send out to some friends or you know put a gift card in or something like that then I'll show you where you can stop and it will work just fine for a card or a gift card holder whatever you might have let's see do I want to tear that no I think I'm just gonna put it I think I'm just gonna cut it could it, could it. Alright, I 
think we're going to glue that right there. Right there. I'm going to cut it a little tiny bit shorter. I don't want to cover up my deckle edge on that backing. So if I run it a little bit shorter, there we go. Then the deckle edge still shows. Now, which side's? Let's see. This is the upside. And then I'm going to cut a little pull in it. Just a shallow one. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to put that down right there as a pocket. Ooh, that side's pretty too. See, I told you I like both sides of this paper. That's the problem. Well, it's not really a problem because we do have more than one sheet in there. But I'm going to use all of the both sides. Okay. Now, we've got our little pocket there. And let's just say we could tuck in some of these little pieces. Isn't that cute? Some of those little pieces could be tucked in there like that or, or you could put a gift card in there either one let's see this big butterfly would work oh there's another bird we might have to put that on there and then there's a small butterfly that might now that might be a little much Okay, let's ink around this and we'll put that down. And you could use this for a little tiny pocket too. Let's just go ahead and make it a little pocket. I'm going to take my little punch and I'm just going to punch a tiny little place. There we go. My glue as close to the edge as I can get it. And then we're going to stick that down right there. Like that. And then we can put, let's find a little card of some kind. We can tuck some little cards in there. We could just, we'll have to make some because I don't think there's any here small enough. But that can be a little card holder there. All right, and then here I think I might put just a little piece of, I don't know if I'll put a little piece of this, a little piece of sorry silk across there. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. All right. Now, if you're wanting to use this for a card holder or a, just a card, you don't have to do this. You could stop right here. But I'm going to keep going because I'm going to use mine a little bit different. Oh, yeah, I like that. All right. Then... Then on the outside, on the edge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this burlap off a little bit. You could leave it whole. You don't have to trim it. But I'm going to trim mine off. And like I said, I got the end piece, so mine's a little crinkly. It's still going to be burlap and lace, but it's just going to be a little bit shorter. Thank you. 
and then the, the sides will fray a little bit like that all right and I hope that I can get this straightened out yeah now I'm covering up part of my little butterfly there but that's okay because we will we can always put another one on so I'm gonna glue that right to the edge of that okay wait a minute yeah I'm gonna glue it right to the edge so I'm just gonna put some glue down through here Now I'll tell you something else that you can do with this too. You can also stitch a little signature in here if you want to do that. I'm not going to on this one. I may on another one that I'm making. But you can stitch a little signature in here and it can be just a little journal book. Alright, let's see if we can get this on here. Try to put it somewhat in the center. Whoops, I need to slide it up. Okay. Oh, I love that. I love how that looks. Look at that. And then we have our pockets up here. Now on the inside, I think I'm going to punch a little pull just so that you can tell that there's a pocket there. Let's see if I can get that. Let's see if I can get that done. Let's see. It may not be exactly in the middle, but we're going to punch it. Ooh, I punched a deep one there, didn't I? I didn't really mean to go that deep, but we did it anyway. It's done. And we're going to use it just like that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to glue this down there. Then I don't have to put another piece of paper behind there. I'm just going to glue it right in there. And then we'll ink. Let's see if I can get this pulled out a little bit. We'll ink that little opening right there. And you'll be able to tell that it's a little pocket. There we go. And then let's glue this one down right there. There we go. So see, you've still got your little pocket, but we covered that back. We just used that part that we punched out, just like that. So I like that part. And then you can make some little tags to go in there. So let's see what we have for tags. I'm going to lay something heavy on this and let it dry because it is still drying right now. Okay, now since we covered our little yellow butterfly up, I'm going to put, I just cut another one out of the paper collection, and I'm going to put it back on there. So I like that little yellow butterfly on there. And see if I can get him somewhat straight so that it just kind of covers that other one over. Sliding out of my hand. There we go. Put that down right there. I love, love, love that. And I'm not going to put anything else on here because I love that collaging. But I do have two tags. And I just need to see how tall I need to make them. Let's see. I think I want my little teal butterflies to show up. So I'm going to cut it off right below that butterfly, and I'm just going to cut them both at the same time. And in your printable, you have a yellow butterfly too that you can also use if you don't want to cut it out of the paper collection. 
in the one that I printed you. And I think the one, the other one, there's one in there too, so. All right. There are our tags. Let's see if they work. I think I want to use that one in the front. Okay, I may cut them off just a little bit more. I don't know. Let me put them in there and look at them first. Because I really want just my tab sticking up. Yeah, I'm going to trim them just a tiny bit more. Not much. About like that, I think. That should work. Now, if you want to stitch around these or put something else on them, you can. I think I'm going to do mine just like they are. I don't mind the way they're, the way this paper is. It makes it pretty. So I don't think it needs too much more. So I'm just going to trim that off. Like that. And then I will ink, of course. I may come back later and stitch. And I probably will go ahead and cover the back because it does need it. I'm, yeah, I could write on this one, but I couldn't write on that other one. Let's see what we might have right here that we could cover that back with. I don't know if that'll work or not. What is this? I think that's some packaging. We could put that on there. I hope that was the side I was going to use because I've already glued it down now. Grab another one. Sorry about my arm reaching into the camera. find my scissors all right and then I just have a whale tail punch one that I've already punched out a while ago I'm just gonna fold those in the middle this is out of a very thick cardstock and I put a little ink on them front and back glue these down. This one has some of the same colors in it and it, who knows what collection this was from definitely not this one but it's it's funny to me how a lot of the collections match especially when you're working in the same year a lot of the creators end up creating some of the similar things okay Sit down in there, right there, and then push that one down in there, right there, 
Okay, I like my tabs, one over there and one over here. I like that part. And now you say, where in the world are you gonna put that pocket that you made? I'm gonna put the pocket right here on the back. And I may end up flipping this over because we're putting it down on these butterflies and that's gonna be a little bit too matchy-matchy. So, I think I'm just gonna use a little piece of this sorry silk at the top. And I'm just gonna glue it down on both sides. I don't wanna punch a hole in it. And I will need to go back and cover the back of that tag. But for now, we're gonna leave it. Okay. Stick that right down in there. And there is our tag. So there is a little booklet, or you can make this into a card, lots of different things, or you could add a little signature in here and have it a little journal, but that is it. Quick and easy, and I think they're very, very cute. We need some little something in that pocket right there, so we're just gonna stick that right there, like that. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and like I said, if you do get the e-club kit, please, if you're not getting emails from us, let us know by emailing us at the link that is directly below. It's EDI, and I'll put it on the screen, E-D-I-W-R-A-Y at hotmail.com so that we can make sure that we get all the emails out to you because there's a lot of freebies that you are missing, I'm afraid, since you're not getting the emails. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.